What you listening to? Seriously, what, what you listening to? What you listening to? What you listening to? What are you talking to me? What you listening to? I listen to Dr. Dog, a band called Dr. Dog, a uh, record called B Room, <coughs> one of my favorite bands. Uh, alternative indie rock, I guess, if you have to label them. They're out of Philly. Um, layered, uh, you know, really great harmonies, amazing, you know, guitars. But really layered, like they'll do multiple guitars, uh, rhythm, shakers, horns, uh, and they've just got, I think, a lot of depth in their sound. And then their lyrics are really sort of emotive, like I feel like I'm listening to people who are actually on the planet having similar human experiences to me. Uh, sort of, kind of getting at that human experience, like what... So relatable? Yeah, in that way, emo emotionally, really big time. And I just, like, it's one of the things I love about music. I marvel at people's ability to take aspects of our experience and somehow set them to music and, and use words that aren't, like, you know, um, direct and obvious, but sort of metaphorical, I guess, poetic. Um, That's how you're supposed to write music, technically. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you can't... Be metaphorical and poetic with your lyrics, then you shouldn't be writing lyrics. Because <laughs> you only have Probably so much true. you can say in the middle of the song, so it's supposed to be that way. Yeah, well, <coughs> I don't know, but I don't find that many people that can do it. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Or that um, resonate with me specifically. I especially mean. lately, they tend to slack on that sometimes. Yeah. How about you? Uh, what are you listening to? Uh, lately, for the last year, I've had just the same CD on in my car. Really? Yeah, it's a 30 Seconds to Mars CD. Okay, is that the band? Yep. Okay. And I don't know, I've just been too lazy to change it. <laughs> what are what are I, they like though? Like uh they're like uh yeah, they're like just a straight up like alternative rock. Okay. They're a little more I'm not really sure how to describe it because they're different than other alternative rock. I know, alternative rock and any label just becomes, mm. you know, yeah, singer songwriter, it's like, yeah. okay, what the hell does that mean? But it's basically by the actor Jared Leto. He's the one who made oh, the band. No kidding. Yeah. And I think it's like I think it's like their third album that I have in my car. I don't remember. I didn't keep track because it's the only album of theirs I have. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then otherwise other than that, when I'm on my computer doing homework, if I'm at school I just listen to random stuff on like Pandora. Okay. Like I have like a David Bowie channel. Yeah. Like a Lindsey Sterling channel, a Parab Stellar channel. Okay. Which is just random stuff. That's and then, cool. Uh, otherwise, I just turn on iTunes because I have all these random downloads from Andrew Hung. I think I did an Andrew Hung channel for the first internet broadcasting. I just have like all of his stuff, all of his funny stuff, all of his serious stuff, and he's he does every single genre basically. Okay. And just like makes an album of one genre, and then an album of another genre. Wow. And he keeps stuff clean too, so it's really fun listening to him rap. Because <laughs> he keeps it clean funny. and it's very poetic. But yeah, another guy I've been listening to, um, his name is Joshua Tillman, but he, his last record he made under the moniker Father John Misty. And uh, it's like, name. yeah, the, t the, the cover art is amazing and ridiculous, um, cartoony. Um, re he's really interesting and intelligent, and, um, but again, killer musicians. Layers seemingly running through multiple genres, you know, there's pedal steels and like um, a multitude of instruments um, and really sort of smart poignant writing about a lot of, uh, you know, some of it's uh, cultural American or like specific to Laurel Canyon mm -hmm. and the hills of LA where, it's, where he's been living. Wait for it. So Andrew, what do you think? What are, what are you listening to, huh? Huh, buddy? Yeah. Hey guys, sorry I couldn't be there today. So, what am I listening to lately? Well, I got my phone right here, and for starters, I'm going to see what I've been listening to a lot recently on my iTunes. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Blink-182. They're my favorite band, probably always will be. We'll listen to their older stuff from, you know, late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I've been listening to Newfound Glory, also a pop punk band. Um, their older stuff also. Their new stuff I'm not too big of a fan of, um, but I like their older stuff. 
been listening to some Drake in the hip hop world. Also, in the, also in the hip hop world, I have been listening to uh, Tupac and Biggie from the uh, golden age of hip hop, if you will. Big fans of those guys. Um, let's see. Thirty Seconds to Mars. I've been listening to them. Um, Lincoln Park. Also been listening to them. They just did a tour recently that I missed, which I'm kind of upset about. That's that's really all I can think of right off the top of my head. That's who I've been listening to lately. So we'll send it back to you guys. Thirty seconds on the clock. Random topic generator says chickens. What? Chickens. Go, Luke. Eggs. Feathers. They have them. They wake people up because they're jerks like that. Some of them are the cocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, others are the hens. They have beaks. People eat them. People eat their eggs. Their eggs are food and possibly babies. They eat grain. And or grasses. And rocks. Bugs. We're done. <laughs>